Welcome to a nearly new day in Reforged Eden for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we crashed down on this swamp planet and ran around, gathered some resources. But in this part, what I want to do is push out and explore the UCH wreckage over here. Two reasons. One, I want to see if we can get uh, some transport for free. This is, well, just to see if it's there. And also, we need to explore the wider area. And of course, in the last part, we managed to get some resources together. And more importantly, we've now got some light armor, which will give us a little bit of protection. And it also means we can now get rid of this flashlight. And so we're kind of ready to go out and see what we can do. And the other thing I've also done is I've put the tent down here against the possibility that we may get ourselves uh, killed. I think I might leave the thermal regulator. What's the protect heat protection range that we've now got on the... Well, we've only got five, 5 to 45. I think we'll probably still keep the thermal regulator with us. Now I'll turn our own light on, which means we don't need to worry too much about that. Of course... Uh, and we've got our bike. I think what I will do is, rather than charge across the surface with uh, the bike, well, I think we'll just walk and see what we can gather on the way forward. Reload the shotgun. And away we go. And see what we can get. We've got a radar signature over there. It's only 667 away. So, because of course we're walking back towards the escape pod. I think we're ahead for that radar signature. Just in case. And we'll see what we can do. Um, actually, I'm quite surprised I haven't actually run into any dinosaurs yet. Famous last words. Because they normally swarm on this swamp planet. What we got over there, grab the plant fiber. So this is purely for the XP. And of course you always do need quite a lot of it anyway, so. Keep grabbing that. There's a radar signature over there as well. Quite a few radar signatures around here. <coughs> There's also a heat signature over there as well. Okay, we're just going to go this way a little bit. We're not picking up any of the opposition at the moment. Probably do with the plant protein as well. There's some more wows. Pick these up. Oops. I'll just keep going that way. Um, well, I'll make another bandage. A few more energy bars. Deep one as well. Well, we do have baked beans. We've got plenty of perish time on that, so we're, we're reasonably okay. we got a minigun drone over there, but we'll, we'll go for these two radar signatures just over here to start with try and find out what they are they're pretty close and just to kind of expand our uh, area we got what we got over here just a rock interesting rock Right, we discovered a large wreckage. I certainly want to check that out. Because if it's the one I think it is, uh, we we may be able to set a base up there. Although the UCA trek could be just as good. Right. 
Yeah, I think it might be the one I'm thinking of. Oh, no, it's not. It's... Well, I think we could make something from this. Let's get in here. Back on. Because this is the one. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. The core could be useful because that would give us the uh, what we call it. The we're on the edge of the swamp now. So uh, we've got some grain here, but pick one up just for the XP. Don't want to fill my inventory up too much. And what we're going to do now is work our way towards the um, UCH wreckage. To be honest, I'll, I'll be happy once I get 20 odd energy bars stashed away. In there. So we found an iron deposit. Here's the aerodrome. He's going to be between us and the um, pod. So, where is it? He's over there. If we can come in from the north, because I'm going to fight an aerodrome, I'd rather fight the aerodrome from within the UCH uh, ship. Then we'll have cover. We're just going to keep pushing through here. Got some purple leaves. It'd be good for any medication should we get bitten. Again, another bandage. Um, I'm gonna, gonna pop. Now we got a bandage. We're gonna make a couple more. I want to get me health up. Simply because um, if we run into any problems, we may need that. Um, indigest treats indigestion and poison. I don't think it will increase our health a little bit. Um, one, two, three, five. Uh, put another bandage on. This is where we got to move towards what we got here. There's some copper here. Very tempted to pick this up. Bit more heart protein there, and oops, right. We got two aer aerodromes, one directly above the UCH wreckage. This is the reason why I waited to make a sniper rifle. I think somebody did post a comment saying that you can get one from the UCH wreckage, but uh -huh, it's not that easy. All right, let's just keep that scan out. Just to f yeah, they're virtually right on top of the ship. There's a Yeah, we'll just pick that up. But we're going to get pretty close to actually pick them up off. Not pick them up, but pick, pick them down. Of course, what? We'll, <laughs> of course, thank you, game. We lose our cover. Um, could be. A little bit tricky. Right, if I come up over here. This the drone.
we come up behind this rock here the rock should give us a little bit of cover two of them there I think we're too far away at the moment I think we can get in Noxious little others. I knew they had to show up sooner or later. <laughs> There's another one just over there. This one over here, I think we could we can get rid of this guy. It's gonna be a bit risky. We've got to get in fairly close. He's a long way out. He's quite a long distance away, so maybe we're heading for the ones over here. Just gonna stop to pick up some food. Actually, take a little bit of a chance here. I'm gonna hide behind this rock. Are they coming towards me? Oh, let's put this in here. Far away are you? Oh, got the damaged hover bike over there. I was just going to hide behind here while that's. Actually, we're going to leave you here for the moment, and then we're going to go in. I found it. Yeah, I know. And they probably found me. Where are they? Right, I think we got past them. We can get into the U2H wreckage. It was hit the ground hard enough to split in half, but I don't see how anyone could walk away from this. Yep, now there's a couple of there's some bad guys in here. Plus the drones. The ship with um shot down, Commander. Yep, I know. At least we got cover now. Are you sure the, the Heidelberg was shot down? Could it have been friendly fire? I'm sorry, Commander. The direction of the blast pattern the mounted still indicates it was struck from exterior plasma. Okay, upon scanning uh, structures, um, there are several other wreckage sites. Yes, included. Okay, I'm just trying to get through here. I'll conclude the structures. Uh, I'll leave them to. And the likelihood of weapon emplacements, communication is some form of unknown. <laughs> it would be correct decision, Commander. We are, we are alone and unarmed against what could be assumed to be trained military personnel. The best we can do now is continue to search the wreckage in the hope of finding UCH personnel alive. Yes. I'm not saying we forgive them, Commander, but it's just that it's impractical to intact them before we understand the situation and their capabilities. Thank you for being in my back. So what's next? Glad you agree with my assessment, Commander, as you are currently the only remaining UCH officer. My duty is to ensure you will live, and I would have you shut down. Your suit's motor functions. Yes, thank you. 
Perhaps it could be a joke. Your humour, perhaps, yes. <laughs> um. Right. You know. Yes, they're very high at the moment. We can we can get in underneath. We've now got cover. Okay, find the weak signal. The weak signal's up here, but and drones overhead. One down. The other one is. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Reload. I can get both of these down. Being very passive. Gotcha. Right, we've got some ammunition. Grab this guy. <laughs> and you just eat some food. This is different because in the uh, uh, the main mission you've got things out here. So let me just signals coming from inside the container. You succeed in forcing open the container in which the EM signal is animated. As soon as you break the seal, horrible smell meets your nose. Peer inside. Inside the sealed cargo container is a human body wearing a UCH engineer's uniform in an advanced state of decay. I've got the body here. It looks like the engineer's uniform. The biometrics of the body match Sergeant Pallet, first class chief engineer of the UCH Heidelberg. The electromagnetic signal appears to be coming from inside the container within him. Investigate the body. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry about the body. Oh, sorry about this body, but I've got to move you. Um, search his pockets. It looks like there's a credit chit in his pocket. I don't suppose there's any use for it him anymore. Take the money. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that, buddy. Search the um, search the body. Found the source of the EM cam. It's the PDA. It appears to have some battery left in it, and the controls are locked, so I can't access them. Now that the device is no longer inside a shielded container, I can remotely access the PDA and download the device logs. Do it. I need to know what happened here. I have retrieved the personal logs and messages from Sergeant Pilot's PDA commander. I will run analysis and forward the decrypted logs to your PDA. You will be able to access them through the PDA logs tab and the mission task information to read them. Okay, at your leisure. Nothing more we can do here, Commander Stephen Silver. Okay. Uh, okay. You're free to do that if you want, Commander. <laughs> Until that time, it's best to leave the body inside the container where it will not be disturbed. I guess that you're right, Commander. Close and relock the container. Can we. Okay. You've loaded social plans logs in. Um, well, we'll certainly take that. Find the electronic current. I think the electronic current's up here. I want to check to see what the there's fuel in the fuel tanks. Tiny amount of fuel. Um, I think we'll take the fuel because we can get the hover bike working. We've got 28 fuel now. 
think there's a container down here. Ah, there's the sniper rifle that someone told me about. Uh, as I was say, I prefer to come here with a sniper rifle because it just makes it, it a lot easier to take those drones down. Got some safety and plates, which we probably don't need. Um, what can it signal was coming from in here? Well, we got okay. And you pull open the door, the car could reveal nothing. The container appears to be empty, aside from scrap metal and structural plastic in the bottom tray. The, the container looks like a burst. This container looks like a bust idea. Are you sure this is the right spot? Yes, Commander. It's a faint electric signal coming from inside the thing. The light should uncover another de dead body in this thing. It searches the junk at the bottom of the container. Um, there's a logistics management unit in, under the junk. I doubt there'll be any use to me, but there's... They only used it to record and manage ca cargo manifests that the screen is cracked anyway. The DDS IDA is still a bust, but just uh, a LM use in sleep mode. I'll check somewhere else. Just a moment, Commander. Logistics units contain transfer records and access logs and user notes. There's usually more information in one of these devices than most people realize. Please connect your suit data port to the bottom of the pad and attempt to retrieve the logs. Okay, connect. Detected. Uploading. Transfer. Complete. I've received the logistics files, Commander. I've confirmed that there's additional data in the device logs. Would you like to review the files? Okay, we'll just read the files. Captain Brenner and most of the flight crew were killed in just a few seconds ago. The rocket or something hit the bow and took out half the bridge. I'm lucky I wasn't me, but thanks to the uh, completely justified criticisms of the lieutenant's ship handling that I was ordered off the bridge to prep the escape pods. Uh, normally I'd call that karma, but guess not is this case since I'm standing in front of the escape pod section and the door's sealed. Not that it matters anyway because the entire section is missing. I'm, I'm left staring through a hole in the hull out into the sky. This will probably be my last message I make and I'll uh, be making it on the logistics manager because my PDA is smashed. I just hope the Heidi's hole will take the impact and that I'm alive when it's over. I'll stick this pad in one of the containers and sign off one last time. Emerson inside of the UCH Heidelberg signing out it seems that's it. I look forward I will forward a copy of the data to your PDA logs commander. What's next? So what we got in here, we got some plastic substrate. Um I think we've got space in here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump some of this stuff into here for the moment. Um we put actually we'll put all the power cells in here. Um, we don't need the ammunition because we don't have space for it. Um, we'll put the rifle in there. What I'm going to do is we're going to put about 19 rounds in here as well. It's a back actually back up. Got 50 credits so that can go in there at the moment because we've got nothing to spend it on. I think I'm gonna. What is how much food we get? I'm gonna eat those beans just to get them out of the way. The grain is probably going to spoil. We'll keep the herbal leaves. So that kind of gives me a little bit more storage space. And we can come back and pick this up later on. Okay, we're just going to pump out two more bandages. So that's four. And then we're, we'll just cut it to do ten. Those. Check the construct, investigate, construct, check the... Structures logs. Structures logs are over there. Can have a wander around and gather together the loot boxes here. So that we've got something to be working with. We should have oxygen in here. Um, uh, the oxygen can wait, I think. Now, if I remember correctly, if we can get up to here. Looks like the power's out. You should be able to connect my suit battery to the constructor's console long enough to read the constructor's log. Connect a cable from the suits. Okay. Charging. Access the constructor logs. Okay. It looks like they're made eight tenths. That means that there's at least eight survivors. The rest of the stuff in the constructor has made pretty standard stuff. Supplies, communication equipment, motorbike, and a pair of UCH radar kits. Standard supplies in the journey overland. It looks like they loaded up the rest of the ship's supplies and salvaged what they could carry and headed away from the ship, which makes sense since the place would be likely to draw attention to the enemy if they hung around for too long. So I guess 
we should be on the lookout for a pair of UCH Raiders. Uh, I've already scanned the planet for heat signatures belonging to the UCH crew and vehicles commander. Still prepared, but there are no other members of the UCH Navy anywhere on the planet. However, what I wanted from the logs, aside from confirmation of survivors, a frame of reference for the inconsistency present and the other evidence gathered from Ensign Emerson and Sergeant Pallant's log files. So you figured out what the problem is, IDA. I'm 80% certain, Commander. The final piece of the puzzle, so to speak, should be found in the ship's bridge. There's a console there that's still functional and inactive, um, but should answer your questions. So you're telling me that there's a live console on the bridge and you didn't tell me to go there first. Why send me go digging through the dirt, bo dirt and boxes full of dead bodies and everything you needed to know right there on the bridge? Because, Commander, the console on the bridge is both unshielded and will draw a great deal of power when it's activated. I have identified an unknown and... I have identified an unmanned aerial vehicle patrolling nearby your current position. Activating the console will undoubtedly draw their attention. Okay. <laughs> I think we've already killed those, so... What? I've copied the... Where am I? That's never happened to me before. Is the game reset for some reason? On the positive side, what we should be able to do if I step at a waypoint, I'll remove one approach. What we'll do is we'll pick up the portable constructor on the way back. Okay, and we'll pick up some more plant fiber, might as well get the XP. I've got a feeling that that might be deliberate because uh, I think we're supposed to go in and destroy whatever that is. So we'll go and pick up the portable constructor, which is a little bit of in our favour. And then what we're going to... Oh, what's coming in at us? Horses. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit late at night now. <laughs> I suppose I could actually just jump on the bike and. Right, there's the drone, which is going to be the threat. Yeah, that's that's a bit cheeky. I killed the drones and then right, well, we get in here. Okay, and we're just gonna put the so we're not overloaded. We don't need the bike kit. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, probably don't need the motorbike at the moment now, so we'll just shut that in there as well. Um, what I will do is... Is that drone gone? Right, that's 600 metres away. What we're going to do is... Grab uh, some loot. Do the looting. Right, we've got mechanical components. I mean, that's it's all spread out, but it isn't that much. Um. Right, we'll just go around here. loot container down there more mechanical components I think that covers most of the loot containers done these I think well I think, yeah we've done these right we're just going to yeah go back and offload the loot so we can stay light um don't need the drill just at the moment either. Uh, so we're looking good at the moment. I'm going to pick up the extra ammunition. 
I think I might need it. Now, if I remember correctly, there's two ways into the... Wow! Where are you? He sneaked up on me. Where are you? This is you. Too far away. On the other side. Burn. That was a bit anti social. We're just going to go and then you've used up a lot of my ammunition. Um, a little bit worried about the amount of ammunition I've used up. So I think what we'll do is we've got some copper. So if I can deploy the. Just going to deploy you there. We need for hyper ammunition, steel plate, copper, nitro cellulose. Um, or we can put that in. That gives us. Don't need to carry all that amount of plant fiber around. Put that in as well. We need copper and steel plates. <laughs> Um, there's the copper, uh, we don't have enough, oh, sorry. I thought I had steel plates, oh yep, yeah, right under my nose, so we should have enough to make a little bit of ammunition. Right, let's see if we can get up into the come up to here we should be able to oh, way up is up over here you found the console idea Wait, the console U UCH and uh, one eleven navigation console initiating operator operating reserve power battery remaining sixty three percent retrieving logs. Um, uh, please. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Commander Stephen Silver. There's one unread message saved in this terminal. Would you like to review it? Yes, I can. Lieutenant Gromley, date, train station. The message, the Heidelberg is lost. We've been lucky that these past few weeks, patrols have been closing in once the forest fires caused the wreckage died down. We, ca we can't stay here any longer. The Ensign Emerson won't last much longer with, his, with her injuries. We're leaving with the first light in the morning, so I'm leaving this message for anyone who finds the ship along with a copy of the related data so you won't be going too blind. The UCH expeditionary fleet was pulled off course by initiating a long-range warp jump using the MS Titan's advanced warp drive to jump to Proxima Century, um, to jump to Proxima Centauri, pulled into a fissure like a spreading crack through the fabric of the hyperspace that dragged the fleet over two and a half million light years to the middle of, of the Andromeda galaxy into the waiting arms of the Xerax war fleet. 
Several of our ships crashed on the planet after sustaining damage. We were successfully made contact with several other groups of survivors and we'll be heading to the neutral station on the far side of the planet where we've, they've organized transportation off world for one of our two and where we've organized transportation off world from one of the uh, of the local factions. We've managed to compile a translation key built into their language Andromeda trade standard that's attached to this message. Make sure you copy you copy it into your suit's hard drive and set it to decompile. We're also able to compile a partial translation key for the, for the attacker's language Xerox standard, but so far they have refused any attempts to contact. It's recommended that you do not engage their armed patrols and avoid the airspace around their installations or risk being shot down. We've already lost a hover bike over in the old debris field while scouting for random drone patrols, which was the last straw for us. So we're bugging out of here at 0600 at the last time. They have their own issues with the Xerox, so it looks like we've found a common goal, but which will help us get back into the rest of the fleet. Whoever you are, please be safe and come and find us. We need everyone to make it through and get home alive. Lieutenant Romilly, acting captain. Commander, I've been analyzing the flight path of the patrolling drone. It would like to inform you that it's just changed course and heading in our direction. <laughs> um, okay. Comes another one of these annoying. I was going to stay in cover a moment. Of course, we're fighting in the dark, which is annoying. Destroy the enemy drone. Where is he, though? That's the problem. Right, there's a minigun drone out there. We need a fire position. It gives us cover. Oh, we've got a bit more cover there. Oh, go. Come on. Die. Noxious thing. Notice these things don't seem to have a soft spot anymore. Got him. Ah, ah gotcha. Looks like we, it's down idea, but who knows how long it before another patrol shows up. We better get out of here. Um, good job, Commander. Red Group patrols have not changed their course. The, the, the handlers are likely to send reinforcements when they realise the drone has gone offline. Okay. Okay, it looks like we've got our first lead idea somewhere. That's it. Commander, have I been able to verify the cause of the inconsistencies between the physical evidence and the logs left behind by the Heidelberg's crew members, which will complicate matters significantly? Okay. On the level of decay of the Sergeant Planet's body and the runtime of the logistics units, I confirm with 97% accuracy that 311 days, just over 10 months, have passed since the Heidelberg crashed. Do not know how this is possible, Commander. Uh, you could almost be a year has passed for everyone else, but not for me. Cryosleep, perhaps. Time dilation. Time travel. Uh, cryosleep is possible, but not recorded cases of memory loss attributed to cryosleep. They wouldn't accompany for severe neurological damage. I remember everything up until the Apollo station. Beyond that, nothing. Are you saying that I could have had brain damage? Yes, you have passed all cognitive tests I have performed, and your physically and mentally conditions are monitored by your suit. Both, both of which match your previous medical assessments on the record. So whatever causes this, it's not the result of a cryosleep commander. Although more difficult than previously estimated, finding the rest of the UCH fleet would be the fastest method of confirming whether or not the condition is unique to you or caused by the warp in the galaxy. Until then, I will monitor. At least, at least now we've somewhere to start our search. Okay. We've completed chapter one and. Now, I know there's some fridges up here, so uh, yeah, we'll certainly take that. Uh, got, we've got this. Eat that. I don't think there's anything else. There's some nice loot on here. 
There's the core, but we're not going to worry too much about that just at the moment. Um, got some med stations. I'm sure there was another bridge in here somewhere. Um, I don't want to drop down there. Okay. Oh, well, we got a little bit of food. The drones do not appear to be affiliated with the structure below as they are making periodic communications to a facility near the polar regions confirmed to be a, a Xerox emplacement. They seem to be keeping guard over the residents, making more likely that they will be sympathetic to your our plight. So the next part, so we've got to go to the village, which is up there. But first, I'd like, well, we certainly need to check out the hover bike. Uh, as a possible option over here. I'm not sure where the hover bike would be. Um... Why is the hover bike not showing? There it is over there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just walk out and show the hover damaged hover bike and then see if we can actually get it fixed. And now there's been problems with the hover bike with missions recently that it, you, it won't let you actually operate it. But we'll just see what we actually need. I mean, it's a bit more the. Um, I think we need the core. Put the core in it. I uh, would have to go back and get the core. We got. A, we need fuel. We need a generator. And we may not need the core. We might just need a generator. Um, yeah, we don't need the core. We just need a. So all we need is a generator and a fuel tank, and we'll be in business. And that will be the subject of the next part. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.